Is it too late to learn React? I feel like it's been around forever and people are talking about all these new things. Is it still worth learning? Like, why wouldn't I go learn SolidJS or Svelte? Aren't those going to be all the rage? Well, probably, maybe. Hard to know for sure. But if I know anything without question, it's that the time you spend learning React will not be wasted. It's rare that a technology comes out that shifts how a whole type of development is done. And React has changed how we do web dev. All of the new frameworks that I just mentioned and all of the projects that I see people working on are either using React or something that learned a lot of lessons from it. And I think you can learn those lessons too. Even if you happen to end up at one of that like 0.5% of companies that is using Solid or Svelte, most companies are using React right now. And even if that changes, the lessons you learn will still apply. Surely most of the teams I have hired for have been React teams but way under half of the engineers I've hired knew React when I hired them. It goes true the other way, where a lot of engineers are hired at companies that are using Vue or using Svelte or using these other technologies because somebody there was a huge advocate and really excited about them. And if you show up as a React developer that very well understands React and how to use it, and you show up at a company that's all in on Svelte, the person who made that decision isn't going to not hire you because you picked React. They're going to be so excited to get you on the Svelte hype train. That's going to be there mission. All they're going to think about is how do we convince you to get on the Svelte hype wagon with us? The things you learn from React are the same things that Rich Harris learned from React when he started creating Svelte. These lessons are no less valuable just because other frameworks are gaining popularity and interest. On top of that, there's never been a better time to learn React purely by the state of the education tools and resources. It's hard to overstate how incredible the new beta React docs are. These are available at beta.reactjs.org. These need to ship ASAP. I'm so hyped on these docs. They were created by Dan Abramov, Rachel Lee Neighbors, who I had on the show not too long ago, and a ton of incredible contributions from some of the smartest people in the JavaScript world. These new docs have helped my understanding of React with how well it breaks down the concepts within it. Highly, highly recommend a thorough read through both the quick start as if you're a newer dev going through the quick start to see how React recommends getting started, as well as the deeper thinking in React, the describing the UI series, the interactivity section, the state section, and very importantly, the escape patches section that help you understand when not to use things in React when you don't need to, and also how to break out of React when you do. The quality of this documentation, the language they use to write and describe things, and the amount you will learn going through these and building apps by using what you learn here is incredible, and I cannot recommend it highly enough. Before these existed, learning React was very painful. Now it's kind of painful. Still not, like, done. Mostly the API side of things but there has never been a better set of resources to start learning any web technology, much less React. And it is far from too late to start learning. There will be jobs in React for decades. This framework is not going anywhere anytime soon. And even if it did, the lessons you will learn by understanding it and building things with it will carry on well past the life of React itself. So seriously, if your goal is to get a job, if your goal is to understand web technologies or your goal is just to build a cool website. There's never been a better time to learn React than now. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, it's free. The button's right there. Way less than half of the people who watch these videos are subscribed, which is absurd. Please get on that. And if you haven't joined the Discord yet, what are you doing? t3.gg slash Discord. Awesome little community.